All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday from the Connecticut Science Center. Of course, joined by Eva. Good morning. Eva Ryle, good morning. <laughs> Um, so we're talking suction on this segment. Yeah, right. so I figure people might have experience with suction cups and things like that. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about how they actually work. Okay, yeah, I mean, the, the, it's not like you just stick them there and they're magic. Yeah, there's no like glue or tape or anything either, Yet. right? Um, and I think we often think of it as like a pulling, suction being a pulling. But there's actually kind of a push going on okay. here. Um, so we have these suction cups here. Uh, these are usually used to move um, like glass around. Mm -hmm. And so the way they work is when they're open like this, you'll see it's kind of flat underneath. There's not a lot of space. And so that's when you'd put it down on your surface or on the glass. And then what you do is you pull these handles together. And you'll see that the space, these, these sides kind of go down and the space underneath gets a little bit bigger. Okay. So we still have the same amount of air trapped underneath. That air is just now taking up filling more space. Gotcha. Um, so there's actually less pressure underneath there. And so you have one on the table. You want to try to pull it up? All right, give it a shot. Look at that. <laughs> wow. This is a pretty heavy car, So right? in the movies, you see people like climbing a, a glass building yeah. with these. Yeah, and all that is is actually just the power uh, or the weight of the atmosphere pushing down on the outside of that suction cup. Okay. So all the air around us is pushing down on your suction cup, and that is strong enough to allow you to pick up our whole cart here. And, and this is it's a substantial cart. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> um, so another way we can see this is actually with um, what we call our atmosphere mats. All right. And so they look like this. You have two as well. You'll notice the only difference between them, one of them's got some holes, of holes in it. Yeah. yeah, one of them doesn't. All right. Um, so you can try the one with the holes in it first, if All you right. like. So put it down on the table and see if you can, nothing. No, no suction, no. right? No. So the air can move freely underneath here on either side. Um, so that's not going to work. So now, it's kind of creating also, a vacuum. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So let's see what happens when we can create a vacuum. Right. So now we're going to increase the space. So there's less pressure underneath, more pressure pushing down on top. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. But we can use them. You want to try to pick up a table? Sure. Uh, a, a lighter table. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at that. Easy, right? All right. Yeah. So with the size of that one there, actually, um, if it was a perfect vacuum, there's no air underneath this mat at all, um, you could actually pick up a grizzly bear. Oh. <laughs> like Interesting. Equivalent to the weight of a fully grown grizzly bear. Okay. That, yeah. That's good to clarify. <laughs> because I think also to point out, we need to have a surface that's non-porous. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so not like a hairy <laughs> surface, would, a nice smooth surface. And a challenge to try to... <laughs> Get yeah. a bear to stay still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but all with the weight of um, the air from our atmosphere. Okay. Cool, Good right? Stuff. Yeah. Um, so, you know, here at the Science Center, um, obviously lots of really cool things to come check out, but mm -hmm. there's also um, something that you guys have done in the past that you continue to do that's hugely successful, mm -hmm. STEM in a box, science, technology, engineering, and math, all bundled into a box. Yes. So um, we have it again for January, February. Um, backed by very popular demand, and so you get all of the supplies um, for two kids actually to partake. Okay. You have live sessions with an educator who will walk you through all the activities, um, kind of ways you can go further so your kids can share what they've learned and what they found and ask questions um, and try out some new stuff. Uh, so it's good for kids age 6 to 12. Okay. Uh -huh. So there's there's one box for January, one yes. box for February. You can buy them individually, mm -hmm. um, or you can get a bundle deal. And also new, um, the shipping's included. Yes. They'll be go they'll go right to your house. So yeah. that's fantastic. Easy, so, right? Yeah. So ctsciencecenter.org. Mm -hmm. All right, Eva. Thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.